Miss Lauren from the Lawrence Branch, and in our house, we love everything Nerf. My kids love having Nerf battles with each other and sometimes with their parents. I've searched the internet to try to find other ways that my kids can use their Nerf blasters. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make some fun and easy Nerf targets and games by recycling things you have around your house. So maybe they can use their blasters on something other than each other. So here are the materials that we're gonna to use to create our Nerf blaster targets. All things that I found around my house, if you don't have these, see if you can find some type of alternatives. So we have paper plates, cups, a box, of course we have our pool noodles, I have lots of those, uh, clothes pins, ping pong balls, any type of cereal box, paper towel rolls, uh, any type of figures, I just found these in my kids' toys. We also need scissors, a hot glue gun, and or tape. I also printed out different size bullseyes that we can use to add to our targets. Uh, if, you, if you don't have this or can't do this, you can always draw them on, that would work as well. Our first target is super easy. All you need is 10 cups, all the same size, and our little figurines. Let me show you how you build it. So all you need to build this is create a pyramid with your cups. Go down four, three, two, one. And then you can add your little figurines on top. For our next target, you need cups, paper plates, and bullseyes. I'm also gonna use a hot glue gun to put it all together. Everything's cool, we have our cup with our plate attached. These targets look great on top of a step or a ledge, or even if you set up a ladder and put these on each um, step of the ladder, they look really cool and they'll be really fun to knock down. For our next target, we're gonna use our pool noodle. You can get one long full length pool noodle and then cut it into different sizes like I've done here. You just wanna make sure that the, um, the bottoms are pretty flat so that they can stay level on a table or whatever surface you're putting your targets on. Next, I'm gonna hot glue these targets onto them and try to put them in different orders to see if the kiddos will knock them down like that. And finally, we'll put our ping pong balls on top. So now we're going to add our ping pong balls right on top. This game is fun because you can have the kids concentrate on hitting the targets, which will knock the whole thing down, or see if they can actually hit specifically each ping pong ball. For our next target, we are going to use our box. And what we're going to do is glue things on top of it. What you want is to take your paper towel rolls, cut them into different lengths. So lots of different sizes. Next, I'm going to add point values so you can keep track of how many points you earn in a certain round. There we go, 20 points for that one. Now I'm gonna use my hot glue gun to attach the paper towel rolls to the box. Just going to put balls right on top of each tube. You can give your kids say five Nerf darts. You could give your kids five Nerf darts and see how many points they can get or to give them a minute and see how many points that they could earn in that time. I actually found the paper towel rolls are a little too big for a ping pong ball to rest on top so I'm going to go at home and see if I can find something that'll work better. We're going to create our last target using our cereal box. We're going to cut down the length of each side so that this flap will open up. We're going to use our clothespins to attach our target onto the inside of the box. We're also going to use a few more clothespins to attach at the corners to keep the box open. There you go, the kids land for the target and hopefully the Nerf darts will fall right in here. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.